Oh, Patrick's back. Yeah. Yes. Whether whether it's something <laughs> important to say, I don't know. Um, the so, so it's on the recording. Um, uh, after many years, Tim Plummer and Nikki Veach have both at the start of the year um, decided to step down from being jug organisers uh, in Australia. So um, thanks to them for their many years of service. Um, they're not probably going to disappear entirely, but they're going to disappear from our um, uh, co-organisers meeting that we have intermittently throughout the year. Um, and might be on the uh, the committee going forward, um, which moving into 2022, we need to, to get back onto the paperwork side of things and, and work out uh, what we're going to do f to be a, a committee going forward as part of Linux Australia, and then uh, put bets on whether Omicron's still going to cause disruption throughout the year as to whether organising <laughs> the safe <laughs> bet. Safe Lock that in, I would think, Patrick. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm being an optimist at the moment. So, um, the events companies I work for are currently two from two for the two weekend events that they had to run. Um, they've got one every 10 days between now and April. So, depending on what the, the roll call ends up being, um, as to whether they uh, get them all done will be interesting. But we'll see what happens. So, yeah. Um, so yes, so if you'd like to be on the committee, we're going to need a uh, another tr uh, well treasurer type role needs to be filled. That's um, partially what um, I thought uh, that was my role. Right? <laughs> well, Nathan, sorry, it, it, Tim was the other signatory to the bank account, so um, Nathan can. Uh, we clearly communicate well amongst ourselves. Oh, we do, yeah, yeah. So, so the plan was that we end up with a new committee and, and then uh, a few of us can, can go back to, to doing some other things. But uh, um, Tim and Nikki have um, forced a hand on who's sticking around at the moment. So, <laughs> uh, which is all good. Um, but... Uh, Better get in quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yes, yeah, certainly, um, yeah, we'll... We need to, I th think once we get out of summer holiday mode fully, um, we'll come back to what we need to do to, to uh, sort that out. So if you're interested in being part of that, then just let us know. Probably could have said it at the start of the meeting when there were more people there, Patrick. <laughs> What's the valued, valued contributors that have stuck around to the end? Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Probably, yeah, I'd probably put something out in an email about that might be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sorting out the actual email list properly and things like that are also on the to-do list. So mm -hmm. um, we'll come around with that. So, yeah, but, uh, um, but all good. So, all right. Um, so that's it for me. Anybody else? Something else, Dad? Anybody got any, um, any topics that they want presenters on or anybody who feels like giving a spot presentation on anything <laughs> well i'm going to do yet another virtue mark thing but this will be the last and it's going to be a big piece of work and i'm waiting for some of the elements to be available on june the four uh, um, not quite ready yet maybe another couple of months okay. I can do one about responsive newsletters and AC mailing if that's of any use, but perhaps not next month. Yes, that is of use because I'll get it all set up for the Journal of Australia one in AC mailing and then you can do the presentation to show us how to use it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> now, I've done a fair bit of that, but I just have a busy next couple of weeks. So <laughs> you probably lock me in for uh, what's the one after? March. Consider that done. So you reckon May that? Oh, sorry. What's Virtue Mart's timetable, Russell? Sorry. 
What's Virtumax timetable? Virtumax what? Sorry? Timetable time on releasing stuff. Are they, are they going to have it out by June or are they going to have it? Oh, it's nearly there now. It's up to RC6. I've been looking at it for a few months and it's pretty solid now. So the Virtumart side of things is good. Um, U-theme is good on Joomla 4. Uh, the thing that I'm waiting for is VMUI Kit X, which um, publishes Virtumart data in U-theme. So you can actually compose your Virtumart pages and you can use the native elements in the page builder. That really is, um, nice. it, it, it helps a lot. Yep. Um, it's great for composition, and I really want it to get there on June the 4. That's the one element that's, that hasn't come through yet. I reckon it's about a month away. Other than that, I've got a great site to show off. You know, really you know, a, a nice, um, nice stretch of a job that, uh, that, I, that I'd like to, like to show off. Yeah, I think we should put showcase sites back on the uh, agenda as a thing that people can do as well. Good idea. Not just waiting until, you know, the annual vote or whatever, but you know, mm. just be a good idea for people to be able to share their work and stuff, I think. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, well, I, I don't know what other people's experience is. You know, I, I know... I'm a, a virtue mark nut, but other people build e-commerce shops and I don't know how they're going on Joomla 4 at this stage. I haven't had any feedback from anybody. I'm you know, not picking up anything about anybody doing any shop building on Joomla 4 at this stage. So I think that's going to be a hot area for the next six months. Yeah, well, J J2 store that isn't ready for J4 yet. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, J2 store is, you know, it, in my opinion, it, it's not really a prime time shop. It's a fairly simple shop. It's got a number of limitations and that they don't really lend themselves to serious, serious application. Like Pro 2 store is a possibility, but that's got a long way to go too. E-shops are Joomla 4 compatible, but it's probably somewhere in between J2 store and... Uh... Virtumart, I think. Mm. It doesn't have the add-on development that Virtumart has. But they've yeah. been J4 compatible for a good couple of months, I think. Yeah, yeah. That's the, you know, that's the okay. pro guys, so they most of their stuff is uh, Joomla 4 compatible, I think. All right. Yeah. There's one interesting thing I saw recently, Russ, uh, that I quite liked, is the maker of my Mega Menu extension, uh, DJ extensions, are now... Yep. Are developing new thing extensions? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they've uh, really they make their own shopping cart, which I've never had a look at. Uh, DJ catalog, it's called, but they've just released elements for that for um, new thing. Okay, I haven't heard that. I, that wasn't on my radar. Or I'll have a look at that. Yeah, actually, I only had a look at the shopping cart features the first time the other day, and it was a bit more extensive than I had thought it was, actually. So. I had the impression it was more of a directory than an actual online I think, shop, but I, I could think be it wrong. started as a catalogue originally or directory. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's had e commerce features for a couple of years, and I was looking the other day and it had all the uh, all the bells and whistles, or most of well, standard things you'd expect from a shopping cart, attributes, options, payment plugins, shipping, all that kind of jazz. All right. Okay. And, I'll yeah, have a look. Elements for you thing. Um, they also have a nice looking accessibility plugin um, that I want to have a, a look at this built for you theme that basically uh, enables you to have some, you know, button to click on that pops up accessibility options that integrate with the theme framework. Mm -hmm. You know, so like setting dark mode and all that kind of thing. Good I've stuff. Used, I've used their um, DJ classifieds uh, many years ago on a site I was involved with um, in New Zealand. And it's actually really functional. It's, really, it's actually a really cool module. Um, so for classified advertising, you could, yeah. have, you know, um, Various vendors, you know, submit their products, and you can import, export. It was actually really 
quite smart. Like, oh, I've used a couple of bits of their kit and have found it pretty good. Mm. Okay. Yeah, well, they're a good they're a good provider. There's no question about that. Yeah, they've been they've they've hung in there through the lean times. So. I have, but yeah, I thought it was interesting that they've gone the the whole you know like um, under their uh, extensions menu, it's got Joomla extensions, WordPress extensions, U theme extensions. Well, it's an it is definitely an area of opportunity, and no yeah. question about that. U themes yeah. has pretty much become a platform in its own right. You know, there's an aftermarket, an extensive marketplace, so there's a lot of sure. opportunities there. For sure. All right. Are we done? I think we might be. Yeah, might be. I can hear my dinner. Yeah, you know, I need to go. <laughs> just, just after Mick joined us. Hey, Mick. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Am I even on? I didn't even mute myself. <laughs> You're always on, eh? Is this always thing on? On, eh? this thing on? <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to work as well. I, I realized I came in late. Uh, and I was worried I was I had FOMO, so I thought I'd check in. But if you guys are done, um, I just wanted to ask if any of you are going to be in virtual attendance to the next um, Indian um, broadcast. What are they called? Joom Tech or Tech Joomla or whatever it was. Oh, uh, yeah. the Joomla next one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, because uh, Robbie from. Um, Oh, uh, um, sorry. Robbie, you're there from Fabric. Uh, I saw it advertised, but what's the go with it? Yeah, so uh, she was just going to be talking about custom fields uh, in Joomla 4. That's the ad. Yep. So I was just figuring out the time zone difference, and I think that puts me at midnight in Brisbane when it yeah, starts. It's at stupid o'clock. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I usually have another four hours of work after that stupid o'clock, so I've got a bad habit lately. So I don't know if I'll be attending that one, but it seemed interesting. And can I just say that I promised on uh, Stuart's magical whiteboard of 2022 promises that I will be giving a talk about how to write pivot queries uh, in relation in relationship to uh, custom fields, tables, uh, and sort of best practices and uh, sort of typical processes, things that you're likely to need or things you're likely to want to understand. So sometime this year, I've given my oath that I'll be doing a presentation. To, to be some... <laughs> well, lock, I've got lock, quite... lock it in, man. Lock it in. <laughs> I've got quite a plate load right now. So uh, no promises on it, being, on it being fast, but I am sort of enthusiastic about it, as you can imagine. And I have noticed that people keep asking about how the heck do I query into the fields uh, values table? I'm always getting more rows than I want. And they just don't fundamentally understand how to write a pivot query and how to either... Uh, pre-filter the rows that they're getting from the table or uh, how do they sort of consolidate all of the rows that they get after the fact. So there's, there's a lot of different ways to use it and it's very powerful, not always performant, but uh, certainly something that uh, any Joomla developer needs to sort of be across um, because I think by design, we're meant to just pile data into the <laughs> fields values table and have a, have a punt at it. So anyhow, sometime this year. It's on the board, so you have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and how's everybody else going with uh, starting up the oh. Joomla Stack Exchange account and and starting to contribute in some capacity? Right, I've been contributing. I'm a, I'm what am I certified now or something? Yeah. Are you certified? I'm not certified. I'm well, not certified, but I'm allowed to actually, <laughs> I'm allowed to answer actually answer shit now. So. Yeah, well, that's the first step. Yeah. Hasn't been much come up recently that's been in my field, I've got to say. 
Well, and it's even been a bit stale lately, so that could be for a number of reasons. But um, yeah, if we get some get some more people popping their heads in and doing something. So by the way, it's not only uh, participation by answering. It's not only about asking questions. Uh, there are other things that that you can do which don't take a lot of time. Editing a question that has or a question or an answer um, that has bad English or that you can improve the keywords like to make it more searchable. That's valuable. Those are valuable contributions. Um, not everybody has got English as a first language. So if you come across something where you go, geez, that's really not formatted well, or that's not even close to English or something like that, then editing is, is quite a valuable thing. And you actually get uh, reputation points if you make a good, if you suggest a good edit. So it's worth doing. Uh, beyond that, the one thing that I am not well equipped to do, which again, once you have the privilege to do this thing, it can earn you reputation points as well, is editing the tag descriptions. Just one second. So the, um, the tag descriptions are like, you know, the classic topical keywords within the Joomla uh, vernacular where we use them as tags to help categorize things. And a lot of the tags do have some description, but uh, we still have a number of tags that have no description at all. And it just needs someone to populate them. So it takes a, it takes a bit of practice to get started, but once you compare them to other tags that we have already in JSC or uh, tags that are already in, say, Stack Overflow, you get the sort of hang of it and how it's supposed to look and feel. And that's another great way to contribute. That's sort of aching to move forward. Just need, just take someone to sit and do it. So anyhow, that's that's my bit. That's good. So if you got your, if you got your .net under control, you can make it. it's on your chart. I'm just looking at the... I haven't even begun. I'm looking at the list and there's only one red tick on it. And that's a my <laughs> list. Ah, oh, well, never missed a chance to brag. <laughs> now, the .net is, is urgent. Me learning .net is urgent. And I haven't even begun. And... Uh, uh, why well, you do that to yourself, but yeah. Well, it's a matter of my, the, the agency that I work for now. Uh, all of their other uh, projects are in .NET, and I am working on the only one that's PHP. So um, we have convinced our client that it just stabilizes everything, and we can spread our resources a bit better if every all of the projects are under the same language. So it'll be a growth moment for me. And, and you couldn't talk them into making everything PHP. I yeah. <laughs> that was less compelling of an argument. <laughs> I started doing some PowerShell scripts um, to move some stuff up to, um, to SharePoint online for a client. Um, yeah. Lots, lots and lots of data. That's been quite interesting. Another, another language mm. to, to learn. Yeah. All right, folks, I'm going to bail. See you next time. Next All right, time. everybody, enjoy your COVID. <laughs> Loving at large. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Thanks, Thanks, Patrick. See you guys. Thanks, yeah. Patrick. Thanks, Nathan. Yeah. Thanks, everyone.